Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here back with more Sly, uh, Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the, in the previous video, we uh, start off. I'm in the wrong spot. Start off chapter 3 here, which is fighting Rajaj again. But who knows? Maybe we'll encounter one of the other people here, too, or something. I don't know. But yeah. There's a lot of bullshit that happened in the last video. Mostly the Bentley stuff, but oh well. Well, now we are continuing on. Sly, the insect in that pool is a rare Indian water bug. If you can carry it into Rajan's office, its wings will transmit local sound waves at a frequency I can monitor. Let me get this straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. That water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards. Hmm. Looks like there's a few pools along the way to Rajan's office. A short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet. Ah, oh, what's up with your hat there, Sly? Okay, well, how about... Bullshit. You fucking... Sorry about that. Also, bullshit. Fuck off! Okay, first of all, I want to say, I feel like the bug... The first, like, I feel like the... Oh, you little bitch.
Please don't have to tell me I have to do the whole entire fucking thing again. Just let me do this one room, please. Let me do the one room. Mother fucker.
the fuck? Why is what the fuck? Why is there no audio come from a game? Okay, I'm back in the fucking office. I had to restart the entire game because I lost audio after I failed an attempt beforehand. And I'm like, what the fuck? Nope, fuck you. Excellent. I've already tuned in to the bug's wing vibrations. I'm a genius. Oh, fuck. This was the last job, so they're going to take me straight back to the hideout. Motherfucker. Damn it. I've got some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. To get his portion of the clockwork heart, we'll need to drive him out into the open. Given Rajan's spy-saddled temper, I'd recommend making him angry. First, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then, we'll demolish the dam above the temple in an attempt to flood him out. If that doesn't work, I've made arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape, effectively bringing it to us. <sighs> I wish you said who had to do what. You didn't say who had to do what in this game, in that one. I think I have to sell. I think I picked up one thing. I should have just plugged in there right away. That first guy in here. Good thing I'm fluent in Sanskrit, or this last code would have been impossible. Try 386. God damn it. Voltage attack. You've gotten the voltage attack move.
Okay. We meet again. Constable Neela, thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. Oh, I should be thanking you. The look on Carmelita's face was priceless. She took it hard, huh? No one likes to have their affections played with. I know I certainly don't. Look, Neela, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll dance through Bollywood and eat curry all night long. I'll keep it in mind, but first the task at hand. I've learned of a secret entrance leading to half of the clockwork heart. Legally, I can't enter the premises without a warrant. But now a thief like you... A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. This place is thick with guards, and standing still can be lethal. I hear that, sister. Yeah, we're also running. I don't know. I feel like she's going to be a villain. Like, I feel like she's, like, she's a villain. Like, she's not actually a constable. I mean, she is a constable, but, like... that you keep destroying shit here. I never showed you this door. And? And? And we're on for that date in Bollywood. There it is, just like Neela said. In order to lower the clockwork heart, you'll need access to that control box. But it's locked out tight. Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind if I borrow their keys. Turn around, you every now and then I get a motherfucker. Okay.
Clockwork's heart. At least half of it. That's it! Half the clockwork heart! The spice won't be growing around here anytime soon! Alright, we're a fourth of the way done with the game. At least 100% anyway. annoying way to get to the place, so... Go. We've been contracted to acquire that huge ruby of Rajad's for a local crime ring. In exchange for the goods, they'll set us up with a Cherry Bomb 500 for the heist. A Cherry Bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. Murray, you're on. Sly's knocked the ruby loose, and now we need your muscle to get it to the buyers. Muscle on the way! There we go, now we find a good place, Murray. How do I get up there?
with your stop move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. Oh boy. The whole getting there was the whole problem. This ruby is near flawless. I'll recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. Well, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I was like, um...
my god! Fucking pain in the deck. I must say, the Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a cherry bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. <laughs> So that was technically a, a Murray mission. I don't want to say that was a slide mission. That was a Murray mission. Well, they have another slide on Bentley, so. Let's do Bentley's because we all know how great his last one was. you. Sean's hold up in his temple. Got any ideas to force him out of hiding? My research indicates that tigers have an aversion to water. By destroying that dam, the temple will be filled with a runner. Flooding him out, huh? Good plan. But I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. You're correct. Fortunately, while monitoring the bug in Rajan's office, I overheard that a new autopilot attack helicopter had just arrived. It's sitting inside this truck. Stay sharp. That dam is sure to be well protected.
definitely a little bit better than those. Slice thing, and I'm gonna assume that it's time to do the heist. Looks like they're using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy the fences. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to use that stuff? Oh, it's simple. Just jump in, walk the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. But be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. Attention guards. Make sure all laser fences are operational to protect the spice grinder. Ready? I was only half paying attention. Like, I like, am I supposed to take these things somewhere? Destroy the laser fences. Oh, there we go. Oh! 
within visual range of the spice grinder. What's next? Rajan won't come out of hiding while spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor and Rajan's forced out into the open. Start by getting a hold of that TNT down there. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. An explosive disguise. Place the explosive near that grinding wheel, and it'll be blown to bits! tea barrel into that basin filled with spice dust.
actually don't mind this kind of mission. flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a sledding pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here. Sounds like a plan. Let's get her done. Oh, we gotta start with Murray. Try to pry open the elephant's mouth for Sly. Check. guards before you take a crack at opening the mouth. <laughs> Say this right now, any type of turn gameplay that's in this these kinds of games, not the greatest.
you. Position. How are you coming on that lever, Murray? I'm working on it! Hit buttons fast to keep your strength up. Damn it. I hope I don't have to do that section again. Just let me mash. Oh god, I'm gonna have to. Okay, thank god I was literally putting right here. Yes! The Murray's might and muscle triumphs again! The mouth is open! You're all clear to bring in the cherry bomb 500! Ended. It will blow up right away. Fuck that, man. Fucking idiots. Thunderbolts, my spice Black temple. clouds and thunderbolts. I will no longer hide while you villains destroy my hard-won empire. This place is mine. Here I am king. Come, face me, Cooper. With Clockwork's black heart, I will show you true power. You are nothing. Come face the might of Rajan, lord of these hills. Boy. When we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. 
Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Neela? Slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. Fuck you! God. Oh, this is definitely my least favorite level. You dumb motherfucker! They're both watching me like, how the fuck? Oh, God, I was about to say, I literally just. Ah, you mother dumb fucker! Everyone's just watching me and be like, wow, this is, um. This is sure is something, huh? You can't die. You I hurt circle, you stupid. This is it. This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours. The Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic, Who is weakling. the Murray? I might be big and not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak. <laughs> Oh. 
Dispatch this fool. Oh, come on, I was on the pad. You stupid motherfucker. Patch. Oh, I haven't equipped any of these. Oh my god! Off. this fool. Ah, 
Blood. Oh, fuck. We go. Murray. Sly's gonna want this half of the clockwork heart safe and sound. Happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder. Sly's hurt real bad. Can you hear me? See, told you she was bad. Sly's hurt. Here they are, Contessa. Just as I promised, the Cooper gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Neela. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper. You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. I can't believe it! That double-crossing cockney liar! Though statistically improbable, I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us, my teammates were captured, and I was all alone. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk Aww. out of the jungle gave me time to reflect, and with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. <laughs> this was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shell. <laughs> Oh, 
Alrighty, episode four. Let's see, did I get 100% in this? Yes. Oh, this one. Yes, as well. And I'm gonna say the only reason why I took over two hours is because some bullshit. Alrighty, well, it looks like, guys, that's gonna do it for this part of Let's Play Slide 2. In the next part, guys, we'll have, um, sorry, episode four. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give it a like button a click. And comment down below if you liked by the video, if you like by the video. And let me know, guys, what you think of uh, the little twist we had. I, I honestly thought that uh, con uh, Constable Nayla, Neela, or whatever, was going to turn out to be not so such a good person. But I didn't think we'd get the reveal right now. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you all. So yeah, let me know how you guys felt about that. And... I felt about the Raj fight. It wasn't that bad of a fight, but I honestly, um, I kind of like the. Well, eh, it wasn't so bad, but I feel like the camera need to be zoomed out a little bit better. That's all. So yeah. As those guys hit the subscribe button, so you don't miss a beat, and subscribe to my main channel too. That's in the description below, as well as find my Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Keen Kids Twitter, are in there too. Thank you all so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all next time.